as a guru, right? Uh, do you help them with training, nutrition? Like, do you, what, what what kind of like areas do you cover? So people, let's 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 uh, get this to understand. A coach, this guy does the whole program. He 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 writes up the program. He he tells you the protocol. He tells you all the supplements, how much water, everything. He does that, and he basically sits behind a computer screen like I am now, and he directs you into this victory. Now a trainer. This guy is in the gym, on the gym floor with you daily, basically executing that program. So in some forms, I'm a guru, and other times I was a trainer. So those top guys that I list, I was their trainer, not their guru. So I was a trainer to some night. So my approach is, to answer your question, my approach is everybody's different. So my name is Psycho Fitness. So Psycho Fitness means where the mind and body meets. So... You have to get inside that person's mind and you have to let this, you have to make this person believe that they can lift that weight, that they can work out for two hours, that they can do all the cardio schedule, that they can get the chicken down. Once you get them to believe that, now you just monitor the program that they executed. Now, the program is different for everybody, but it's all the same. And meaning my thing is like not making them do it. My thing is helping them believe that they can do it or making them believe that they can do it. Because if the guy has to eat 12 ounces of chicken for six or seven meals, he, if he doesn't believe he can do it, he's not going to do it. If you just put the 150 pound dumbbells on him and he doesn't believe it, it's not going to happen. So the trainer always has to believe this process and then make the client believe that they can execute it. And th once that, it's pretty easy after that point. Mm -hmm. What if a client comes to you, right, and he has all the willpower in the world, you know what I mean? He he dreams to be a Mr. Olympia, but you look at him and you don't believe it. I mean, what, what do, you, do you tell him honestly that like it's not going to happen, or what, what do you tell him in a situation like this? Well, see, with me, that's that's a good question, because when, with myself, anybody I train, I believe in their goal. So if this guy says, I want to be Mr. Olympia, and you see me training him, I don't care what he looks like. That guy is going to become Mr. Olympia if he follows the program. Two human beings with the same thing in mind, constantly putting forth effort to execute something, that's a problem. That's a problem. When two, when one person do it, they're like, ah, because that type of belief gets infectious, and then the girlfriend believes it, and then the a training partner believes it, then the friends believe it. Now you have this influx of people believing this common goal, and that's how you create a champion. You have to convince the client that they believe it. And now if, the, now if the guy comes to me and he doesn't believe it, he's just talking, I can sense that right away because I've been around nothing but champions my whole life or, or in this industry, so I can sense it. So, But if I take him on, I truly believe he's going to turn pro or he's going to win the United Champions or he's going to win the Olympics. I totally believe it.